Pilates exercise is one of the best types of exercise for women over 40. And especially if you're dealing with any kind of frustrating back pain. Now in this video, I want to show you my top four core strengthening exercises that help your back support. And if you haven't tried Pilates before, the, this is a great place to start because you can modify for a beginner. But also if you're having some back pain, these are safe to do because you're going to have some very stationary type of exercises that you can control within your own limitations. Now, it's important to note, if you are having pain that is severe or having numbness, tingling down the legs, anything out of the ordinary, you definitely wanna go visit your doctor. But in this video today, if you have already done that or you have some aches and pains and you're looking for a simple Pilates routine to solve it, that's where I come to play. My name is Dr. Dawn on the loan. I'm a women's health physical therapist and Pilates instructor. And as you can see in my studio here, I love helping women discover Pilates because it is so helpful for relieving back pain and helping find a holistic solution for long term. Now, Pilates exercise is great because you're gonna be working on alignment and posture, and therefore taking a lot of stress off the joints and off the discs in your spine. Now, not only is it helpful in that way, but Pilates works on the strength of your trunk, trunk muscles and the endurance of those muscles. Those muscles need to support you if you are sitting in place, standing in place, walking, jumping, twisting, bending, moving. And if those muscles aren't responding in the best way or they're weak or they fatigue too quickly, they will break down. You will have muscle strains, ligamentous strains. You will have disc related issues or wear and tear on the joints later on in life. Now for our women over 40, it has been proven that as estrogen levels change toward menopause, musculoskeletal problems exist and they get more common. Pilates is a great way to prevent injuries and also stay ahead so you actually can perform better in other activities in your life too. So I wanna talk you through my top four core strengthening exercises and ones that are simple to do at home with just a mat on the floor and I'll show you a couple modifications if you're totally new to this. Now, the first one is called a reverse march or a dead bug exercise. Using the Pilates cueing and principles, I'm gonna talk you through it. So you're gonna be on your back and you want your lower back to sink into the floor. You're not pressing it and pushing it down, but you're just gently keeping a little pressure there. And at the same time, you wanna imagine that if you were cinching in your waist a little bit or hugging those muscles right below your navel, you're kind of pulling them in and up. Imagine the vaginal opening like a little pulling up of the pelvic floor muscles. That's like a tiny Kegel. You want to do about 50% of that so you feel a little um, hugging in and a little support of those lower pelvic muscles. So we're going to just keep those pulled in and we're going to bring our legs up in a tabletop position. In Pilates, we call this tabletop. You have your knees at 90 degrees. Now, if that's hard for you to maintain or you feel like you're pushing your abs out rather than drawing in, just start with one leg and that could be a modification for you. We're gonna just gently tap that foot down toward the floor, keeping the knee bent. And you wanna think of an exhale. Every time you go down, deepening that contraction. Now, for a little extra challenge, you can reverse one march at a time. So you're just tapping one foot down at a time and you're trying to maintain that contraction there. Place your hands over your stomach so you can feel, are you pushing out? Try not to, pull it in. Or just start with one at a time until you can get to that point where you're not pushing out. That is a reverse march exercise. Do it until you fatigue or until you start losing that position of your back. Maybe about five or 10 times, stop and reset and repeat it again. And you can do about three rounds of that exercise. Train these muscles for endurance rather than always counting reps. You might wanna try it for 30 seconds, for a minute. It's can they maintain that while you're still breathing? You don't wanna hold your breath. 
So that is a reverse march exercise. A dead bug exercise, you actually add the arms. So we take one arm back of the opposite side that taps down, and we go one side at a time, very slowly and controlled, and I'm using those trunk muscles. So that is my first favorite core exercise to introduce you to how to engage those muscles the best way. Okay, the next exercise is a bird dog. I'm gonna be on hands and knees. Shoulders are over my wrists and my hips are over my knees. I keep my back nice and flat so you don't wanna round your spine. You wanna stay a nice straight spine. Next, you're gonna hug those muscles in like you did with the last one. And we're gonna just slowly bring your opposite arm and leg and extend them out. Pause for a second or two as you extend and bring it back in, extend and bring it back in. Now the goal is not to twist your hips. When you extend out your leg, don't rotate your spine like that. You wanna keep a nice straight position. You can also just start with the arms or just start with the legs if that is challenging for you. So that's the bird dog exercise, that's the second one. Okay, the third exercise is a bridge. And from a bridge position, what you wanna do is, let's take the lower back, just gently kind of press it into the mat, and then think of peeling the spine up. So we're gonna lift your tailbone, lower back, and then more your mid back. So you're sitting on your shoulder blades from here. And then we're gonna reverse and roll back down. Every time you curl the pelvis, think of drawing in those muscles from your pelvic floor and your lower abs rolling up. You feel your glutes and your hammies at the top, hamstrings and glutes, and then roll back down. So for this one, do about 10 times and you wanna feel yourself moving through those vertebrae and think of dropping one vertebrae at a time as you come down and curling under and lifting one vertebrae at a time coming up. This may be challenging for you. If it is, just start with a little gentle pelvic tilt of a little tuck in the pelvis until you can get to the point where you can lift up into a bridge. Okay, the fourth exercise. The last one I'm gonna show you in this series. The series should take you no more than five to 10 minutes a day. You want to go down into a side plank. We're gonna do a modified version. This is great for strengthening all those trunk muscles where you're, and your hips. So you're really gonna target one side of your body. Important to do so you don't just compensate with the strong side. We're gonna challenge each side separately. So I have my knees stacked on top of each other. My hips are stacked and I'm putting pressure through my forearm. And you wanna think of pushing your shoulder away from the floor and I'm gonna lift my hip up so I'm holding the side plank. Engage the lower belly muscles, but let's keep breathing. And we hold, goal is to hold for about 20 to 30 seconds. If that's really hard for you, just start with five seconds. Just start with 10 seconds. Do what you can do. And that is a side plank modified version. With your legs out straight would be a full version and more advanced, and you can work up to that challenge as well. So you're gonna repeat that one a couple times on each side, and same thing, go for time, because that is challenging the endurance of your muscles down that whole side, and especially for the side of your hip, one of your glute muscles that helps also when your glutes are strong, that also is gonna support your back and be better for your back. Now, I hope you found this little series helpful. Pilates exercises are great for back support and strength, anything where you're strengthening the core and really paying close attention to your form and endurance and breathing is gonna be very valuable as you do things through life that may cause some injury to your back. So stay ahead of it and try some mat Pilates. I hope that you can continue to do these exercises I have some other videos that are also very helpful when it comes to back pain, solving back pain, and also Pilates-based exercises that you can go check out. 
And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I release new videos every week and I'd love to see you back for another one. So thanks for watching and good luck with your Pilates.